First, we will include software serial library. This library is used to create a virtual serial port. And we will connect the SIM 800L to that virtual serial port. There is already a hardware serial port on Arduino Uno. The pins 0 and 1 are referred as hardware serial port. You can connect the SIM 800L directly to the hardware serial port without the need of the software serial library. But this port is used to upload the code to Arduino Uno. It also used to test the project using serial monitor. So, if you connect the SIM 800L to this port, then you're no longer able to upload the code to Arduino Uno. Also you could not test the project using serial monitor. So, you need a second serial port to connect the SIM 800L, but Arduino has only one serial port. So we will create a virtual serial port on Arduino pin 2 and pin 3, using software serial library. To create a virtual serial port on Arduino, type software serial. Then write a name for your serial port. You can write any name as you need. And I will name it as SIM 800L. Next, we will assign RX and TX pins for the virtual port. I will use pin 2 as RX pin and pin 3 as TX pin. You can use any of the digital pins as RX and TX pins. But pin 13 cannot be used for RX pin. Next, in the setup function, I will start serial communication with SIM 800L using SIM 800L.begin function. Next, you can check the default board rate from the datasheet and then enter it in the code. Next, start serial communication with your computer for testing the project. Next, we will test if the module is working or not. So, we will send AT using SIM 800L.println function. And the response of this AT command must be OK. SIM 800L will send back the response within one second. So, you can use delay for one second. But if the SIM 800L will not ready, then you will have to wait for a couple of seconds until you will get the OK response. So, it is not a good idea to use the delay function. So, I will create my own function. I will name it getResponse. This function takes two arguments as input. The first argument is the expected response. And I have set it to OK. Because, the result of the AT command is always OK. The second argument is timeout. And I have set it to 1 second. Timeout tells how long the function will wait, for reading the response. Now, let's quickly implement this get response function. You must define it above the setup function. Now, the function is ready. Let's understand it's working. This function has an argument, expected answer. And we have already set it to OK in the setup function. Next, the function will try to read the response coming from the SIM 800L. Then it compare the response with the expected answer using if condition. If the value of the expected answer is matched with the incoming response from the SIM 800L, then it's mean, the module is working fine. So, it will return true. And if the expected answer does not match with the incoming response, then it's mean, the module is not ready. So in this case, the function will return false. So, this function will send true, if the module is ready, and send false, if the module is not ready. Let's move back to the setup function. Here, First I have sent the AT command. And if the AT command executes successfully, then, this get response function will return true value. So, here I will use an if condition, to see if the function returned a true value. If this is the case, it means the module is working fine. So, I will just print, OK, in the serial monitor. But if the returned value is false, then it means, the module is not ready. In this case, we will try again by sending AT command. And then, we will wait for the response. If it is again false, then we will repeat the same process again and again, 
until we get the OK response. So I will use for loop to repeat the same process again and again. The loop is ready. Next, I will just move this highlighted code block inside the loop by copy and paste commands. This loop will execute 20 times. And each time it will send the AT command and wait for the OK response. But if it does not find the OK response after trying 20 times, then it means your module is stuck somewhere. So, you need to reset the SIM 800L. So here I will use another if condition to check if the module is not responding at all. Then inside the if condition, I will just reset the SIM 800 LGSM module by pulling the reset pin low for 100 milliseconds. And then pull the reset pin high to boot up the GSM module again. This is a standard way to reset the SIM 800 L. Next. After resetting the module, we will again test the AT command using the same code. So first, I will add a label above the for loop. I will set the label name as try again. Then, inside the if condition, I will use go to statement. And then, I will enter the label as try again. So after resetting the sim 800L, this go to statement will move the control to the top of the loop and the process of testing the GSM module will start again. Now the code is almost ready. Before uploading the code, make sure you must have connected the RST pin of SIM 800L to the pin 4 of Arduino Uno. You must also define the reset pin in the code above the setup function. You also need to set the pin mode of reset pin to output. Next, here is the wiring diagram. You can follow it to connect the components. Let's test the code by uploading it to Arduino. For testing purpose I did not connect the power to the SIM 800L. So, the module is not ready. The program will try 20 times to get the response from the SIM 800L. If it failed to get the response, then the program will reset the module. And then it will again start the same process until it get the response from the SIM 800L. Let's connect the power to the SIM 800L. Now, look at the serial monitor. Here you can see the program is now getting OK response from the SIM 800L. It means the code is working fine. Next, to make this code more productive, I will convert it into a function. So, just copy the highlighted code. Next, I will create a function here. Name it as try at command. And inside this function, I will paste the code that I have copied before. Next, I will add some parameters in the function. The first parameter is the CMD. We will use it to send at command to the SIM 800L module. The second parameter is the expected answer. Third parameter is timeout. And the last parameter is number of tries. It will tell us about how many times the function will try to get the response. In our case it was 20. One last thing, I will replace the not ready string to a dot. Now the function is ready. You can use it anywhere in the code. So first, I will send an at command using this function. The first command is at command. Expected answer is ok. Timeout is 1 second. And the total tries will be 20. This way you can send the AT commands with module restart feature. Next, I will create a simple program to turn on and off the built-in LED of Arduino by sending SMS. So, first send AT plus CMGF equals 1. This command sets the GSM modem in SMS text mode. The next AT command is AT plus CNMI. It set how the modem will respond when a SMS is received. Here is the format in which the SMS will be received. It always starts with plus CMT. Next, go to the loop function. Here, I will constantly check if there is any incoming SMS or call data from the SIM 800L. And if the data is available, then I will store it in the response variable. I will also print the response data in the serial monitor. Next, 
I will use if condition to see if the response variable contains a CMT string. If it find the CMT string, then it means a new SMS is received. So, I will read the content of the SMS using another if condition. And if the content of SMS would LED on. Then we will just turn on the built-in LED by pulling this pin high. Similarly, if the SMS content is LED off. Then, we will just turn off the LED by pulling this pin low. This way you can also control a motor or a relay as well. Next, one last change is required to make this code more efficient. So, here I have a added a code block. This code block executes after every 15 minutes. And it checks if the GSM module is ready or not. And if the module is not ready, then it just reset the module. So this code ensures the availability of the module, all the time. Now the code is ready. So, just upload it on the Arduino. Now we will test the code. This time the dots are printing in the serial monitor, to indicate about the module is not ready. And as soon as the module becomes ready, the AT commands start printing in the serial monitor. Which indicates about the module is ready now. Let's send an SMS to turn on the built-in LED of Arduino. So, I will send LED on, from the mobile phone. And after a while, we will receive the SMS. Here, you can see the SMS is received. And the built-in LED is on now. The same way you can turn off the LED. Just send, LED off, from your mobile phone. And soon the LED will turn off. That's all. You can download the code for this project, from my GitHub account. If you have any question, then let me know in the comment box. See you in another video. Bye.